Hey everyone and welcome to Chet Chat. I'm your host Chetna and this episode is special because the guest on our show today is world renowned monk and lifestyle coach Sri Gaur Gopal Das. I know you watched his videos and got influenced by his teachings and I know he's impacted millions of lives in a positive way. I for one am a huge follower. And today we are at the Crossword Bookstore for his book launch called Life's Amazing Secrets. And we're going to request him to talk to you about some amazing motivational secrets for you and for your life. But before that, quickly press that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get your notifications every time we put up a video. And without much further ado, let me request Sri Gaur Gopal Das to join us on the show. So Guruji, welcome to Chet Chat. Thank you very much. I am humble. You know, this is like I've been watching your videos. I've been getting inspired. So it's like surreal, you know, for me. I'm just grateful. <laughs> I'm just grateful to be with you for this chat. Thank you so much. And our students are tuning in from. We've got students from 109 countries. Oh wow! <laughs> my, my greetings to all of you from wherever you are in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, the, the first question I want to ask you is about unconventional careers. You and I took unconventional career choices. But when students make these choices, the parents are coming from a position of fear. Correct. The society is coming from a position of judgment. Sure. And so students lack self-belief. Yeah. And uh, they they sort of don't have that courage and motivation to go ahead with their passions. Correct. And they get confused. Correct. So how or if you can guide them as to how can they actually go right ahead with their dreams and even to know before that is this the right path for me? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so any of your guidance would be so yeah, valuable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, when I I was studying in school and then wanted to see what I'm going to do for the future, we all we had three options: <laughs> engineering, medicine, and maybe chartered accountancy. No, <laughs> engineering, medicine, failure. <laughs> So you are either an engineer, you are a doctor, or you are a failure. Oh God! So, so coming from a society where this was the mindset, and if this is what is ingrained in the system, I do not think a massive change can come about simply by our youngsters taking up to the passions that they truly feel is meant for them. Right. There has to be a systemal change as well. Right. Unless there is a systemal change, it's like fitting a round peg in a square hole. Like you are a round peg, you want to do it, but then the square hole with the society and the social standards don't accept that. So I think when we are talking about a change, a change must come on all fronts. Right. Like if you do a career in scuba diving, most parents are going to say, "What's what's the future for you? You you how you learn you fine arts. <laughs> what's the future for you? Exactly. You know. So how do students deal with this pressure? How do they deal with this kind of a Uh, insecurity that they are made to feel, right. not necessarily they feel it, but they are made, made to, to feel, feel by the society, by parents, right. by everybody around. Right. I feel there should be a win-win, a balance. Like you don't be a complete conformist, nor should you be a non-conformist straight away. Okay, okay. So the That's balanced extremism. approach. Okay. You know, you know. I'll tell you what. To go by the parents' way is an extremist stance because then they can't follow their passion. Right. But to go by what they feel could be an extremist stance as well, okay. because what they feel is their passion may not necessarily be their passion. So, right. so I feel, I feel it's good that they take up something mainstream to begin with. Okay. okay. Which is like a like you say, okay, Save. I'm doing what you want. Okay. There's a fallback option for me. But whilst I'm pursuing this, I start pursuing this as well. and then show parents show the society that i can do it now if you're not being able to show right why would you know yeah and why would anybody that. accept it so i i feel that if there is a good balance i don't know how sure, but if there be sure, a good balance sure, sure. so which basically means if they want to pursue something like this they may not take courses like engineering which is the fallback for them because right, courses right. like these professional courses will not allow them the bandwidth and the time sure to pursue the other things that Absolutely. they feel is their passion but a good decent fallback option hmm. and then side hmm. by side they also pursue this initially just as a hobby as a calling yeah i think it's a calculated risk yes you you're yes. taking a risk still yes. but it's a calculated yes. risk yes. most youngsters in their zeal in their enthusiasm and their passion to do something 
uh, don't realize that there are practicalities in the real world as well when they yes, live there. Yes. So they must take risks. I feel. I do feel it should be a little calculated. Am I making sense? Absolutely. Okay. I thought that was brilliant okay. because honestly, I was expecting you to go, you know, either one way or the other. Oh, but, but that's this is not a, how life is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautifully balanced approach, and who knows? Tomorrow you may be able to marry much, the two. Much. You never know where that's that exactly could open what I up said. a whole new world that's for exactly you. What I said. You know, there's one gentleman whom I know who wants to be a filmmaker. Wants to go to Canada, study filmmaking in Canada. The most premier institute is in Canada. But then uh, parents are a middle class family. Hmm. The yearly uh, tuition fee is about twenty five lakh rupees. So okay. four year course, oh my God. one crore of rupees. <laughs> That's not even their entire life saving. Right. Now I told him, as much as your passion is to do it. I don't think reality does allow you at this point of time. I said I can try to pitch you for that. Can try somebody to sponsor you, but a crore of rupees. Who's going to sponsor? You know. Right. Plus, once you finish it, the cutthroat competition out there right. just to be able to recover all the money you spent. But it's a lot. So I told them, why don't you follow something mainstream? Mm. So it is a fallback mm. option that you can get a job later mm. if this doesn't work, mm. and start taking professional courses here, which are within your capacity and what you can afford. Right. One day, probably, you might be you able, might to, be go able to go there <laughs> and then marry the two. What you yeah. have to do and what you love to do are the same. Fantastic! That was absolutely yeah. wonderful and motivating too. Thank you. And Thank you. the next. Thought in my mind is, you know, competitive exams in yeah, India yeah. Uh, can sort of take the life out of you. Sure. And sometimes it's just that one hour or two hours you're Correct. sitting in that examination hall. Yeah. And it's almost like that is the moment that decides whether I'm a failure or Absolutely. a success. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's so much stress. I remember I got like a hundred and two fever before my CAT <laughs> entrance exam, <laughs> and I came out of the hall and I was fine. Yeah. So I can understand that. So what can you say to them that they can overcome all of this and take it positively? Yeah, yeah. My understanding is this: if you're writing a competitive exam, you've already written many exams before. Yes. <laughs> and you have a very clear idea of your capacity, right? We have to be very honest and very, very accepting. Hmm. Of what our capacity is. Okay. Now, if you have X as your capacity, you can dream to go X to the power two. Okay. If you do dream to do X to the power hundred, you're being unrealistic. Hmm. Hmm. So, in that unrealistic pressure to go X to the power hundred, you don't even perform X. What to speak of X to the power two? <laughs> Because okay. the pressure stops you from giving your best. Hmm. You know that's the problem when you have one yardstick to measure everybody. Hmm. Not everybody is going to fit into that. You know, not everybody right. is going to fit into that. Again, a systemal change is needed there. Sure. It's it's about the system. It's not about them. It's not about it's not about uh, what the parents are saying to them. It's about the entire system. What is accepted as normal mm. is the grades, is the mark, is the yeah. score, is the performance. Yeah. Right? And your J score <laughs> is is considered as your individual capability Absolutely. as a person. Absolutely, it dictates you. Correct. So I'm not saying you shouldn't get there. But you should also know what you are. Mm. If you don't know what you are, I mean, believe me, we're just wasting our energy, our money, our time, and after doing all of that, we are, we end up with low self-esteem, lack of self-confidence. After ten attempts of doing it, and you realize you can't, you waste your time, money, energy, and our confidence. Right. You know, rather, it's better to be honest and accepting of what our capacity is, mm. and mm. which is why what you asked earlier is very important. That I do feel. From the beginning, they should be able to discover and find out what is it in them that mm. they can truly excel in. Mm. In this book, the life's amazing secrets right, that I wrote, right. one section is this: the blueberry cheesecake. Is the that blueberry yeah. cheesecake. You did happen to read <laughs> I, I a part read. of it. The blueberry cheesecake story. That's right. Entire section on ikigai and finding your calling, and you've given a worksheet at the end, yes. an ikigai yes. worksheet to really yes. figure out what is it in you mm. that you can follow. Right, so I think 
uh, that pressure of an academic score when you're there in that one one and a half two hours of uh, you know sitting in the examination right, hall it's like right. a virat kohli or a sachin <laughs> tendulkar playing against west indies you know you have to like yeah, perform and keep hitting yeah. sixers and fours yeah but they've got the, so much practice they've got so much practice and not just practice they also have the capability right like there may be some others who are also practicing sure but you sure. also have to have it in you right sure, sure. to say that everybody can do everything and by practice everybody can get there i'm not too sure because right. you have to have the core of element course, to be able to course, develop it of course so i do believe that it's important that they yeah. find and the sikh guy worksheet it that works you're talking good. about that could be of help it to them it could be of a little help it's not like a very elaborate thing but it's a pointer towards you know uh, getting a little deeper than what we are and then possibly taking more sessions with some experts to mm. actually kind of fine tune it right fine tune it. and guruji one last question is you know depression is very common these yeah. days with students yeah and we are hearing of suicide and we are hearing of you know just children just not being able to function because they are paralyzed by all that pressure the fear yeah. the yeah. uncertainty so how do we you know just help them to cope with all of this yeah true depression suicides pressures one of the reasons for this also is that many of our youngsters have grown up not hearing a no as an answer okay okay because they were children maybe a single child to parents parents have felt oh i did not get it when i was young i should give everything to my kids so whatever they asked for they kept getting a yes a yes a yes a yes a yes you can get a yes from your parents you don't get yes from your professors you don't get a yes from infosys from apple from microsoft from eny kpmg deloitte you don't mm. get a yes the way you want a yes mm. so you have you have been brought up with with that training of okay everything there for you you don't have to worry you know mm. so that sense of entitlement mm. that i must get a yes all the time mm. it basically means they know they're not used to a no they're not used to a failure mm. they're not used to a, a falling from mm. what they thought they could achieve mm. in their life mm. so when you're not used to it and suddenly something comes your capacity to handle it is very meager right very very meager right so right. so it's shocking when it comes yes and then it's so absolutely shocking that you either feel like extremities you go in chronic depression mm. or you end up to the other extreme of suicide right so then the question is how do we cope up with mm. this so whatever the training has been or whatever has been how do we deal with it now which is why i do feel uh, youngsters need uh, life guidance and life counseling more than academic uh, uh, performance they also need a lot of guidance so their fortitude their strength to handle these things increases okay. so you need they need mentors and guides apart from their educational uh, teachers academic teachers and professors and uh, they need to feel that inspiration and motivation from those who they see as mm. icons and role models so icons and role models shouldn't just tell them the stories of everything good about them they should come up and share their vulnerabilities that i went through this but look what i did i'm sure you can do it mm. you have it in you as well don't worry you can handle it mm. you know so they need that mentorship that guidance from people whom they see as oh wow these are the ones you know and then of course spirituality to whatever degree helps them cope up with this uh, pressure uh, friendship and su- emotional support from parents from friends from people who are close to them that it's okay mm. it's all right to pay yes it's okay take it easy <laughs> you know the, just one failure is not the Doesn't end of life it's defining you it's just an event mm. it is just an event it's not a journey don't make an event of your life as your journey mm. and you know when you you can you, it's okay to lose a battle you have to win the war, win the war. Yes. and in a war you will lose a few battles yes. here and there everybody yes. does yes. so once they get into that mindset then i think these extremities can be handled otherwise i feel it's just that thing you know that i i can't hear a no i have never heard a no and an answer so now suddenly a no i i didn't get the job here i didn't get my first degree i didn't stand first in the university i stood first every semester <laughs> in my engineering degree right. i stood first in every semester last semester i stood second four marks i lost my first grade and my gold medal in the university of pune in the whole of maharashtra and i came home crying 
I came home crying in front of my father. He asked me what happened. I just slammed the mug sheet at him, not because I was angry, but I was frustrated. How I, can I, I not dreaming, come dreaming first? Dreaming for that gold medal, you stood first all through. How can I not come first? And I remember my father was no more. He said to me, uh, "Can I see your mark?" So he saw the mark, and it was like probably eighty-seven percent, but it was ninety ninety-five. 87% in my final year engineering Which was and he said uh, he said so what's the first guy I said, I said 87.1 or 2 or whatever he said man you got great grades you can get admission in a great college focus on your grade the marks not on the position it's not first or second it's okay and he said in 10 years from now who will anyways remember your first rank it's okay so i think when you have people like that to support you to guide you yeah. through to yeah. kind of make you comfort you It's possibly what can help us handle this. So that was yeah. so amazing. Guruji. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so Guruji, what you told us was so inspiring, so clear. Thank you. And I think <laughs> you know they they get the direction, they get the motivation sure, from sure. you. And I'm not going to hold you back. I know there's a book launch waiting yeah, for you. <laughs> and here's a book that you must pick up. And this is the worksheet in this that he was talking about that's yeah. going to help you make your career choices. So Guruji, I'm going to have a personally signed copy sure, from you. Sure. Thank you. Please. Thank you very much. Students across 109, is it? Yes. 109. 109 countries. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? I know. I'm blessed. That's amazing. You're doing much better than what you would have done as a banker. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that every day. <laughs> And I would never have met you. <laughs> Thank you, Guruji. Thank you very much. And wish you all the best. Thank you may so you much. May you have all the success, and may you inspire millions and millions of more By people. By your good wishes yes. and prayers, yes. Thank you. And thanks for watching right till the end. I'm sure this episode was valuable to you, and I hope it's changed your life too in a positive way. So, if you have any questions, put them all down in the comment section under the video, and press that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell icon right next to it. And happy watching.